Hey guys, it's Sherry Vegas and welcome back to my channel. I am joined with Coco um, and today we're going to be doing a really cool like boho palm wall hanging using these guys. And we're going to be creating it for my bedroom which we're currently in and then we're going to be doing a little bit of a room makeover at the very end. Just changing a few things because I do plan on hanging the wall hanging above my bed. So let's get started. So the first step was to get supplies and when I went to the flower market which is a big wholesale market and if you live in like the Brisbane area there's one in Rockley, I was actually incredibly shocked by how expensive the supplies were. Um, they did have a few like pre-made up there which they were gorgeous but the small size was $450 and the large size which is the size that I make in this video was um, $700 and something dollars and I just could not bring myself to spend that much especially when I can DIY something. So when I looked at the cost of the palm leaves I do get why they charge so much because they were quite expensive even at the wholesaler. Um, the medium size natural ones were around $40 and then the really big ones were around $70. I did while I was there buy a pack of um, red ones and they, I think there was like a pack of four for $40. And then I also did get some um, like dried grass that was like dyed pink, which was $10. Uh, the pack that were red, I have decided that I'm gonna like spray paint gold so it doesn't really matter the color. But I just couldn't bring myself to buy like $70 because I knew um, of per leaf when I knew I needed a few. So I actually walked around my neighborhood and I was lucky enough that someone had the elephant palm um, leaves. They had a few of the trees and they were actually chucking out the trees. I just asked them if I could have them. I just left a note in their letterbox asking for them and because it just saved them a trip trip to the dump they gave them to me for free if you want to find other places I did also check um, Gumtree there was a few people selling them on there because I think people who have them in their yards have started to realize that they're actually popular another place is also Facebook marketplace because um, a lot of people who have had their weddings um, are then selling off the bits and pieces from their weddings so you can have a look around and you don't necessarily have to pay those prices the ones that I got because they were just coming from someone's backyard um, and not a supply place I did have to give them a really thorough cleaning um, so I guess you've just got to weigh up whether you want to buy ones that are already pre-done and you don't have to do any cleaning but you have to spend money or whether you want to get them for free, like me, because I'm a tight ass, and go and give them a really good clean. With my already pre-painted red palm leaves, I just needed to change them to gold. So I started off by using a bronze color first as my base color, and I just gave all the palm leaves a few coats. I think it took around three coats to cover the red coming through. And then after that I used a gold and I used that to add highlight to my palms because I wanted a bronzy gold. So I just placed that really randomly over the bronze base. Then I just repeated this for all of my red palms and I'm really happy with the end result. You can't even tell that they used to be red. Once I got all of my supplies together, I had to go and give the palms a really good clean. And I had nine in total to clean because that's how many they had. And I just decided I would take all of them. Might as well, don't, need how, don't know how many I need. I didn't need that many, but I do have now a few just sitting in my garage that I've already pre-cleaned for my next project. So I decided to give them a clean. I did try spraying them with a hose and that did not work at all because uh, the dirt was so caked on them because obviously they've been outside in the rain and getting dirty. So I then had to get just some soapy water and um, a soft cloth and just go through and wash them all. This was really time consuming. To do all nine, I would say to cut and clean them, 
I would say it probably took me six hours with a lunch break. Um, so be prepared if you are gonna just get them from a neighbor or maybe someone off Gumtree that they might need a little bit of love. I found the easiest thing to do was to cut and shape your palms first. It just saves you down the track later because you're not cleaning parts that you might be cutting off and it did take a really long time. Uh, so I recommend a really good sharp pair of scissors because they were quite thick and hard to cut. And then I got some hot soapy water and a soft rag and just went through and cleaned all of the folds. This is what took so much time because you have to get in between all of the grooves and do it by hand. And you can't be too rough because they are really fragile because they are a natural item. And also I didn't want to be putting these up with dirt and stuff in. And I did find a few bugs in the folds. So I'm glad that I cleaned them first. Then my next step was I just wanted to seal them because they are a dry product, um, anything that's a natural dry product over time is going to disintegrate. So I just gave them a sealant. This sealant I just bought from Bunnings and then just coated them all in that. While the palms were drying um, with the sealant, I just decided this was a good time to move everything around in my bedroom. So I just moved um, the two uh, prints that I had there over onto the other wall because I knew I was going to be hanging up my really big um, sort of centerpiece above my bed that I didn't want the prints there because I just thought that's going to be way too busy and they were really pastely and this is a lot more warm toned and so I thought they would clash quite a lot. So I just moved those over. Then I just got a cushion and a throw from Target uh, just to match in with the previous cushion I already had that was from Adairs um, just because I wanted to make the room a bit more neutral toned I didn't want to have that pink um, as much as I had before so I decided to just add those in and move my pink cushion over to my other chair then I decided I wanted to reupholster my stool. It was originally like this dark pink velvet that I did the first time around. I did that because the handles that I got for my bedside table, they were meant to be rose quartz sort of coloring. And then they came and they were really magenta and I wanted to try to um, bring that color throughout the room to tie it in with the handles. Um, but I just never really loved it. So I decided to give it um, the scrap and reupholster my um, bench. Just changing the colour of this bench, I felt like it really changed the feel of my room. So all I did first was just take off the old fabric and remove all the old staples. Then I laid my new piece of fabric down and I got this fabric from Spotlight and it's an upholstery fabric and it was just $6 because it was on sale for the meter. And then what I do first is I go and do both ends and then each side I just put one staple in cut off the excess fabric because now I've got it nice and taut and then what I can do is go along and start doing each edge and adding more staples in and refining it. You have some different options when you do get to your corners. I always leave the corners to last. You can either fold it like you would a present or you can do what I do and I put a few staples on either side going diagonal. Um, and then I pull up the fabric and kind of round off my corner. But it's really just personal preference. Then it was time to like assemble my wall hanging together. This just took a little bit of piecing around until I found the design I wanted. Um, because obviously they're all different shapes and different sizes. So I kind of just mucked around with the design for a bit. With some chicken wire, I just bended in all of the sharp edges. I decided to use chicken wire as my base because I thought it would be really great to weave the palms through and give me a strong and sturdy base. Then I just folded that over and I used a bit of floristry wire which I already had on hand from another project and just secured the chicken wire together like that. Then with all my palms, I had to cut off the stems because they were too long. So I just cut them off at the point where the leaves started and just used a saw and some pliers. 
Once I had all my stems cut, I started to weave them through my chicken wire, kind of working out my design. I then used floristry wire to also attach them into the chicken wire because I just wanted to make sure that they were really secure because I don't want to be hanging this up and then have a palm fall out. So I just used some more floristry wire and wrapped that around and slowly just started building up my design. I started with my base ones first, so my biggest palms and then kept layering them on top of each other creating the effect that I want, working on the balance of them and weaving them through before I started to add my smaller palms in and just kept on layering it. Once they were all in, I then just added some hot glue for extra strength and I kept doing this as I was going through. And then I got my little feature palms, which were the gold ones that I had spray painted. And then I started to layer them through and just kind of work out where I wanted to add all my placement. And then I just hot glued all of those through and I also wired them in as well, just so I have an extra strong base. Then it came to add like the little finishing touches. So this is some of that colored grass that I got. And then I had some pompous grass and some dried sort of um, leaves hanging around, which I already had from previous projects. And then I just needed to have a few little statement flowers right in the center. And I just hot glued all of this in because it's so lightweight, it didn't need to be wired in. It was just um, able to be hot glued in. And I just kind of added it and layered it and just went as I did it. I didn't have any real plan for this. I just kept layering. Once I had assembled my wall hanging, it was time to hang. They're not actually that heavy because it's all sort of uh, natural light material and then the chicken wire is not heavy at all and also by using the chicken wire um, there was a little loop for me to just pop it on to um, this hook that I had in my wall and I just decided to place it above my bed. The next step was my favorite step and that was kind of finishing off the room with some wall stickers that I got these butterfly ones from Made of Sundays, which is an online wall sticker company. And they do all sorts, like they've got some really stunning wall stickers, but I just fell in love with these butterflies because they were muted tones. And I knew that they would really suit the wall hanging and already the coloring in my room. And I kind of loved it because it added that sort of wow factor to the wall hanging and that sort of extra whimsical vibe. And I like it not to be 100% normal. I always like a little bit of difference. So for me personally, I thought it finished off the room. These wall stickers are super easy to apply. All you have to do is peel and stick them and they go straight onto the wall and then they're really easy to remove. You can just peel them off. And if you've accidentally placed one in the wrong spot, all you have to do is peel it off and move it to the right spot. I am really happy with how this turned out. The wall hanging and the butterflies and just everything about my room um, now feels really me. Please let me know in the comments below, did you like this wall hanging? Did you find this was helpful? And if so, what colors would you use? Would you use some natural or would you spray paint all of the palm leaves? to fit a certain color scheme. I'm really interested to hear. If you found this video has helped you, please give it a big thumbs up because that helps me out. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe as I love to do all sorts of DIY, art and craft projects all the time and I post every single week. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.